Yo, so this game is completely broken. I, I really don't need to explain it any more in depth in the other directions of brokenness that I have. In multiple ways, in different times, and different issues, I mean, w within the small amount of time that this game has been out at this point, and I quote small, it's starting to get to that point to where it's just like, all right, it's been a while. Nami, say hello. <laughs> Yeah, I got her in here today. Uh, I wasn't entirely sure if I was gonna post a video or not But I ended up seeing this thing on uh, Twitter. So at, at this point I'm not like forcing myself to do anything given like I, I guess over the years I would force myself to make videos like all day every day But given that's the only thing I ever wanted to do and as far as like It felt like that was my only purpose throughout the day or at least my day would just feel weird if I did not You know what I mean? I've explained it before uh, now I've you know as I've gotten older I've been able to give myself some time and some slack i guess but so let's rewind really quick before i explain it so the season one update came out for black Ops. update came out they got stitch and they added all this new stuff so in that update we got the mac 10 and the groza and uh it was just ar and assault rifle as the uh you know two new main weapons and then we got the maps and all the content and stuff like that now when the update initially dropped at around like 2 a.m or whatever i was up and ready to go and make a video just like that video title says it basically ended up breaking everything now if you look in that that video if you go and watch it you'll see that i ended up finding multiple other weapons that basically weren't meant to really be there or at least show not just for me it was for anybody that was playing the game at that time i don't know if it was maybe just specifically uh pc that could see it or if console could see it as well but it showed the challenges but you could not complete them in order to unlock them so you had the sledgehammer the wakazashi sword i, I think that's how you call it and the street sweeper shotgun all of those were weapons in which uh they didn't say anything in the roadmap there was nothing about an update about those coming out didn't say anything about mid-season or whatever and a lot of us were thinking oh maybe they're just mid-season weapons right and then they'll just come out and you know we'll get them later so within a couple hours after that point and obviously on pc everything being very very broken i ended up going to sleep by the time i had gotten back up they patched the whole thing that was going on so basically whenever you went over to the weapons and you looked under those categories for melee weapons you saw them there saw the challenges you would try to unlock them but it wouldn't work you would go into there and actually complete the challenges now, if you went into a game and you tried that with a shotgun, you would end up finding out that it just didn't work. It didn't track. It just said 0 out of 15. I believe it was 15 games. So with those weapons completely disappearing from the menu all over again, we all obviously know that they exist and what those challenges are. And the thing is, that patch didn't actually get rid of the challenges. The patch only made it so you couldn't see. So it basically made them, quote, secret challenges and secret weapons that you can go and unlock. Now, the thing is, it's not, I really don't think it's meant to be this way. It's definitely broken because uh, it turns out that if you went and still did those challenges up until this point anyway, if you did go and do those challenges, even though you don't see the challenge, you don't see your progress or whatever, it is still technically tracking. So you can still unlock these things. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why, but yeah, that, that was the case up until today anyway turns out that they actually ended up patching that uh, even further so their actual patch is now actually working I'm about to do that super cheesy shotgun thing where you run around with this thing in your hand so you never have to actually bring up your gun can basically just sprint full force at people with gung-ho on and just spam the shoddy there's no thought process at all <laughs> that's the thing i'm talking about the thing that helps this the most is just increasing its firing I'm just holding it. The reload is absolutely atrocious, though. It's very, very slow. It takes very long. Your character has to stick a shell in and then do some weird little thing and twist. Oh, you don't like that. The amount of people that get pissed off at this shotgun is hilarious. Honestly, since last night, I've been getting more reactions out of this shotgun than anything. Go for a good point. Long shots, bro. Come on, bro. Like, nobody's playing for real, bro. I'm just trying to finish Dark Matter. Dude's saying he's just going for his long shot. So am I. See, here's the thing. Now, are you just gonna let people keep this thing or, or what? I'll go and unlock Dark Matter for it and everything ahead of time, but I feel like I'm pre-ordering Dark Matter. More like early access. I don't even know. I 
shotguns are just so strong and hardcore that when you add an automatic shotgun that you can give a little bit more increased range to and stuff. Uh. So looking through the attachments here, uh, as gross as this thing seems in hardcore, uh, maybe I'll try it out in core. I haven't done a ton with it in core. I'm sure that it is strong. Maybe in very, very close quarter situations or maybe even just on Nuketown, it could still just be very, very strong. It definitely kind of feels like I'm stuck in front of like an AA-12 from Modern Warfare 2 where it's just like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely dead. I don't know if that means it's OP. It doesn't necessarily need to be OP for people to be using it anyway. I mean, people don't really care. So you got the muzzles here. You got the duck bill and all this other shit. There's nothing here that's actually going to increase your range or anything. So I just go with the duck bill just for hardcore anyway. I'd probably take it off and not use anything. Otherwise, Maybe I would use the agency choke. There is two barrels on here that give you extra fire rate, 9% more fire rate. So your fire rate goes from 300 to 327 RPM. It's actually really noticeable, especially when you go and have like an effective range buff on there, which really is just another meter extra or whatever. But it just, it feels like it makes all the difference. Steady aim just with the combination of duck bill. It's a pretty good, it's just really cheesy. It keeps it more wide, kind of like in a diamond shape or something. But when you keep steady aim on it, it doesn't move anymore whenever you're like moving around so obviously got the 18 round drum on there even if the reload takes absolutely forever you're only going to be doing shell by shell not entire magazines so and right now i'm just using the drop shot wrap I, I don't really ads with this thing at all so i really don't need it i just kind of like the whole aim while going prone and i don't want to take any of the penalties from airborne so i just kept the drop shot wrap i mean why not stock would help but ultimately the stock is completely wasted on a shotgun in this scenario it's not even like a glitch it's like cheese i don't know. Yeah, where you can hold the special grenade in one hand and then your shotgun is always ready no matter if you're sprinting or not in your right hand. You can do that. So for those of us that have actually unlocked this weapon, I mean, we, we got something kind of special, I guess, at the moment. And along with anybody else that has decided to unlock, you know, the sledgehammer or the uh, sword, I didn't get the chance to get to them and now we can't really get them and we have no idea what's going to really happen. So for those of you that haven't gotten any of them, even though you heard about the challenges... I mean, unlucky. Yeah, by the way, it turns out that it's actually completely locked in Warzone unless you buy some sort of pack from the store. So, yeah, that's pretty awful.